Lenovo Social were at CES 2013, and I don't know what you did today, but I rode in a limo with the frat dolls. Uh, we're here with the the legends of gaming. Um, are you guys legends? Yes. All right. I think yes. I don't. I don't want to like. We're legends. Exaggerate. We're like rock stars. You know the whole deal. Okay. Right. We're rock star legends <laughs> of, of all planets and galaxies. The frag dolls. And so, uh, why you may ask, are we in a limousine in Las Vegas? Uh, as you probably know by now, Lenovo announced this new beautiful 27-inch uh, PC called Horizon. It's a table PC. Um, we're calling it um, an interpersonal computer at times, which I think is kind of cool. Um, and it's got uh, enough, enough uh, you can do 10 finger touch on it and accommodate quite a few people. So the frag dolls are here and they're gaming as we roll down the strip here in Vegas. So we're here with Pixel, Valkyrie, and Days from the frag dolls. Three of the, uh, are there five? Uh, seven. 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 And I understand there are alums as well. There's, yes, there there's, are. Uh, what, Many alums. We've been like around that. for eight years, so lots of alums. Very cool. As well as a lot of cadets, which are like our internship program to okay. get girls industry experience. So tell me, Valkyrie, if you would, since you're you're the founder, is that right? Of I'm the, one, the, of the one of the founding members founders. of the Frag Dolls. Tell me about the early days and how it got started and how, sort of how it how it blossomed. Oh, so uh, Ubisoft basically put out a casting call. They understood they were looking for new ways to just wasn't working with traditional marketing approaches and so they wanted they saw how female gaming was getting a lot of notoriety at mm -hmm. the time and um, they wanted to put together an authentic legitimate group of hardcore female gamers that not only helped you know bring legitimacy you know as a marketing avenue but um, uh, helps with the promotion and marketing of their video games and therefore frag dolls were born yep uh, when we cast frag dolls it's hundreds and hundreds of applicants and we comb them very carefully mm -hmm. it's a whole mixture they need to be a whole package it's not just about you know, selling Ubisoft games, you also need to, you know, be a hardcore gamer. We test their gaming skills. You need to care about the community around you and the communities that you're involved in, and those are things that we weigh very heavily in our casting process. Um, you need to just kind of be all. You have to be able to speak on camera, you know, be intelligent, be able to, you know, know what you're talking about, and be a face and of, be able to blast of female a gaming, and be very face passionate. of a product, yes. and be passion just goes with it when you're a gamer you're automatically usually passionate but Absolutely. yeah so of course we um, we travel mostly for the usually for the industry and consumer events we have competed professionally uh, for years on uh, multiple pro level circuits it's been a while since we've been in the pro scene just due to Ubisoft not having a first person shooter which is our normal competitive um, mm -hmm. side but luckily we now have shoot mania which is coming up so we're super excited about that because that means 2013 circuit frag dolls are coming out of retirement nice <laughs> nice the great That's thing about right. the Fragdolls too is we're really diversified in the games that we play. I mean, we play a lot in different systems. Uh, most of us are PC gamers, some of us are Xbox gamers, or some both. Um, we really get a whole variety, and we love our casual games too. As you can see, we're playing sure. one of them here. So I come from a background in, in music. I, I'm, I'm mostly into the music scene more than the gaming oh. scene, but I see a lot of similarities. And one of the similarities is uh, people who are on the outside sometimes think the gaming scene or the music scene is one thing. And you guys know that it's many things within one, right? So, um, you know, Lenovo this week announced Eraser, which is kind of a, you know, totally specked out, like crazy gaming rig, overclocking, and liquid cooling and all that. And so that's at one end of the spectrum. And then here you have the family side of things, the family table PC. Mm -hmm. But um, tell me about the experiences you guys have had. Like Pixel, I don't know if you want to speak to it. Like the the uh, the way that like the, there's obviously a multi-headed beast that is the gaming community. Yeah, I mean, there are some people who are just crazy passionate hardcore gamers. All they play is like, you know, first person shooters or there's like a subsect that will only play MMOs. Mm -hmm. And then you've got, you know, casual gamers who will, you know, pick up their their iPad or iPhone or what have you and just play casual games and this is actually awesome for that because now you get the casual experience but you can play with multiple people mm -hmm. and it really uh, brings you know social gaming to like the next level I feel like um, you guys must each have a sweet spot gaming wise or do you have a favorite game um so I started competing with first-person shooters actually um, I competed and traveled for three to four years, and I loved it. Um, I did retire uh, from competitive gaming. I know it sounds you look weird, right? Are you right? right? <laughs> no. Um, although I still play, and I'm starting to get back into it, and it's an it's an addicting, addicting process. No doubt. Yes. How do you how do you have to stay fit for gaming? I mean, you have do you train your eyes? Um, do, you do, do you do yoga? 
Actually, I do do yoga, and it is amazing for you. But um, so no, much you for have my to, sarcasm. Here. Yeah, yeah. No, you actually have to practice hours a day because you need the muscle memory. You have to learn the maps, the positioning. You have to work with the team because we play mostly mm -hmm. team-based games. So it's it's a, a lot of work. You wouldn't expect it, but no, I mean, it, there's a concentration factor, a right? Yeah, and you have to treat it just like a, a like sport, a sport because it really is a sport, uh, like a true, uh, you know, professional sport. Yeah. I do breathing. I I close my eyes. I envision, you know, the perfect game, just like everyone should be doing. Well, I assume sport. you guys find your Zen mind state when Absolutely. you're playing, right? I mean, Absolutely. that's really what, what happens the, when you're in There's called the zone. a reason why they call it the gamer zone, exactly. Totally, yeah. totally. <laughs> the gamer face. I take Good. off right. my shoes when I compete. You do? That's I your do. thing? I do. It's my thing. What's your thing? When I play at home, she I always have my shoes. shoes off, right? Yeah. So it's a comfort zone for me. So I always take off my shoes, and I usually cross my legs on a chair. That's it. Like sure. I do. I like cross this. my legs. It's yeah. something yeah. I've cool. always told everyone. You have to play at home like you would in things. So you need to train right. yourself. Put loud music behind you. You know, Simulate loud sounds. Yeah. Play on the exact same size monitor. Sit the way you're supposed to. You want your sitting, and you need to be exactly like that in, in tournament, too. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, thank you very much for uh, taking time to ride around inexplicably in a limo with us. So, when really Fred does want to know when we're getting our our, our horizon here. Well, yeah. it's, it's in the mail. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure every one of these that exists right now is in our lounge in Las Vegas. Right. So I just think we'll it's just amazing. It still blows door. my mind that you can fit, you know, a, a, an i7 and NVIDIA graphics. Like it blows my mind that this is actually a hardcore. A gaming PC, and it's and it's cool to note like, that again we, we haven't shown it in the in the standing up mode, yeah. but it's basically a normal super powerful PC when it's standing up and you know running yeah. Windows 8. And you all can that. have it on your desk, I and then what I see, yep. what I see is keeping it on your desk, and then when the family's over, friends are over, whipping yeah. it out, throwing it on the coffee table. Yep. I'm just ready for some more tabletop games. I want some right. Magic: The Gathering. Well, let's, bring, let's bring it on. Let's let's <laughs> put the challenge out to the developers. Mm -hmm. So thanks again, guys, and uh, and let's uh, continue to ride here as we fade into the sunset in Vegas. So thank you. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys.